Hello guys, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna do machining of this 3D model. Before in the last tutorial, we did how to design this model. If you didn't watch that, you can link is in description. You can go ahead and watch before starting the programming of this model. So you can click over here to the top right corner or you can find the link in description how to design this 3d model so this gonna be in two parts the programming of this model gonna be in two parts so first we gonna i gonna do the machining of the uh, like roughly machining and then in second part i gonna do finishing of this model to make sure to watch entire tutorial and in the last of the video i gonna give a bonus so make sure to watch the entire tutorial so let's get started first of all we're gonna go to a tool path machine and then select mill default and then you're gonna go to view section over here and enable our tool paths so double click over here as I did already so now I got two groups so I'm gonna delete one group here so now we're gonna go to stock setup to set up the stock so that we can machine it so our stock gonna be over here click on all solids yes and you can see our y is 7 x is 10 and height is 2 inches so click ok and then you can see we get red dotted lines around our shape which is stock so now we are gonna go to tool paths and start our first tool path so which gonna be if you want to change to top view just click alt 1 and get to top view and then alt 7 to isometric these two are the most used shortcuts i do in master cam so now we are gonna go to dynamic tool path which gonna be our first tool path so in the machining region now it says select a chain so click over here then hold shift if you see this kind of chaining then click over here to wireframe and then hold shift and then click ok and then from the machining strategy we are gonna go from outside because it's kind of open pocket if it's if we have to do inside then we are gonna say stay inside but in our case now we are gonna go to from outside and then for the avoidance region we're gonna chain it again then go to solids go to face and then just simply click on the bottom face click ok and now to preview click over here as you can see these red color shows where our tool gonna be do machining so now click ok we selected our chains now it's time to select tool we gonna go to filter then this gonna be end mill and then equal to half inch click ok select tool library and then if you see if it doesn't have here any tools so again go back to filter click ok and now you're gonna see we have half inch flat end mill so just right here roughing outer semi circle and from here you can change your feed and speeds i'm not going to change anything for here right now because it's just a learning purpose so go to cut parameters leave everything as it is go to floors so zero we're gonna and then over here change it to point zero three this is gonna be walls we left 30 thou because we're gonna do finishing of that pass in next tool path so go to depth per cuts enable depth cuts and make our max ref to 0.25 and then go to our entry motion remain as it is go to linking parameters enable clearance make sure it's two inches from the top so absolute and then leave everything as it is and then for the depth we gonna go to associate click over here and then from here we gonna select our point 
so yes so we gonna select any bottom so you can see we are done we gonna click ok and now mastergram gonna generate the tool path as you can see the blue line shows our tool paths and it's doing step by step going down by 0.25 as we mentioned in our parameters we're gonna go maximum rough cut to 0.25 so this is done so now we're gonna select all operations go to verify tab and now in the verify tab before you start verify go to verify over here in the top make sure our color loop is enabled go to home and then start the see the verification so as you can see it's going 0 0.25 0 0.25 every pass and then our part is of two inches so it's gonna go approximately around eight paths down i'm gonna make it a little faster so now you can see let's take out the material and now click alt t to change the hide the tool path go alt t to again got back the tool path by alt t you can hide it so now isometric alt 7 and now our second tool path gonna be same dynamic counter like dynamic mill path but this time it gonna be for these slots so avoid doing again going to select dynamic mill we just gonna copy this tool path so how we gonna copy is just simply click over here and click right and keep pressing and then just drag it in the bottom and then just say copy after and you can see this is copied so make sure and then this arrow we're gonna make it to down so over here you can see it's in the bottom now so now we are gonna change everything over here what we're gonna mainly change is our chains because before we selected these chains but now we're gonna select these chains to rechain all so we're gonna go to our geometry click over here and then go to machine being region and select our this machining all surfaces I'm gonna select it quickly and then click ok so for the avoidance region i'm gonna go to preview chain first so ok so this is machining this part is good and then we gonna go to avoidance region select face then select the top face click ok now preview chain as you can see click ok and now go to our parameters to change the depth and over here to the depth we are gonna deselect delete point and then select the point we wanna select any point in the bottom so for example select this one click ok and go to, you can see over here it says cross so we gonna regenerate it click over here and then master gum gonna start regenerating our new tool path which gonna be oh you can see this thing now click over here to select all operations and then go to verify tab alt 7 to make it isometric and then start your verification this is our first tool path i'm gonna make it fast over here and then here you wanna see your second tool path and then as you can see this is done but you can see over here it's it's left some material which is 0 
3 like 30 thou which we set to left like you can see over here it doesn't do the corners why it doesn't do the corners because in the parameters over here we say leave point leave point zero three material on the walls so that's it for the first part guys so in next second part i'm gonna do finishing of the material which we left point zero three on the walls and then do drilling and circle milling of these three holes so make sure to watch our part two the link gonna be in description and thanks for watching guys if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel see you in next video